Today we complete this. Welcome back to Create Arcane Engineering. In this episode, I really do want to finish Chapter 1, which is mostly going to be the extension of these farms over here, creating a mineral tree farm and just a simple deployer setup. And deployers are, of course, going to be super easy to make. We have no problems with that. Uh, I've been running this guy for a little bit while I set up for today's video. And you can see we've built up a little bit of iron, but the andesite stuff has backed up, which actually works works out really well for us because you know it means that the iron stuff is going to continue to go uh, i also added a little bit of lava over there because sometimes the immersive weathering will create a mossy cobblestone like this mossy cobblestone was cobblestone when i placed it but the water makes it mossy cobblestone which is really interesting uh, and uh, terribly inconvenient i also ended up speeding it up so that the belt and the little crushing guys run at you know full speed but the drills run at a half speed so we don't produce too much stone and also because I don't want to overstress our stuff. Now the mineral tree farm as you can see is a little different than most tree farms because instead of just getting saplings, you sometimes get these shrubs which need to be washed. I, I believe, yeah, you wash it into a rejuvenated shrub and then you mix it with eight berries to turn it into a mineral sapling. And then that has to go, of course, back into the machine to be placed and grown. In addition, minerals, uh, they grow in this weird pattern here. They grow in this pattern like right here. So I'm pretty sure we can only really have one line of shrubs, but as long as all of the logs are broken by the saws, we shouldn't have any problems. We already have the three saws we're going to need, and I think we have a mechanical bearing laying around. Uh, maybe? Oh, is the mechanical bearing in one of these guys? Yeah, it is in one of these guys. That's right. I'm putting all my crate stuff in random junk drawers. So the way this is just about going to work is we want to have the output to be somewhere here-ish, wherever it's going to be facing. And we're going to do something where we know we're pulling out just the mineral chunks and bringing them towards the andesite, right? We're gonna kind of meet the mineral chunks in the andesite in the middle while they're mixed together into the andesite alloy. So this needs to like, it'll output this way and then we'll do some drawer-based filtering hither and thither. Let's see, we'll want logs to be picked up so that they can be processed later. Uh, we'll want, hmm. Okay, so I've worked it out that we'll have the logs pulled into this, which actually it's just occurred to me that doesn't work. I have to move this. Okay, so the filtering is going to work so that this guy will spit its contents out. The sapling stuff will go into this drawer. The berries will go into this drawer. Logs will go into this drawer, and this will save as like a pickup, you know, like for sticks or anything. I actually don't even have enough andesite alloy to get the rest of these funnels, so I'm going to leave it for now and just continue to build the farm out. Uh, I'm, I, I, that seems to work for portable storage interface purposes at the least, right? Yeah, we can build the farm out over here. Um, now to think about how this is going to move. While I'm getting this set up, I just want to take this time to say that if you're enjoying this series and you haven't subscribed yet, definitely consider it. We're trying to hit 15,000, yeah, by the end of the month. 15,000, and I would really appreciate your help. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We have the full saplings as well as the depleted saplings or the shrubs come along this line where they'll be washed. This drawer is going to uh, actually needs to be a two by two drawer. Now that I think about it, this needs to be a two by two drawer that can accept full saplings or uh, the washed saplings. Then we just need to kind of figure out some way for this guy to spit. Hmm. Oh, so difficult. So difficult. Okay, I've done a lot of belt spam, and it's not the best machine in the entire world, but so far this belt moves this way. It'll bring the logs out last. We've got random junk here, whatever we need to put in there, and now we have the shrubs get pulled into this line, washed along here, filtered into rejuvenated, and then spit out here right into a base in this grass block, which I should represent differently we'll do cobblestone, will be a basin. And then down here is where the berries will spit out their contents onto this belt that dips downwards, and it'll go into here. Uh, they'll get mixed together and turned into the saplings. And then, of course, the question is, how do we get the saplings back onto this belt? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking about this all screwed up. Hold on, hold on. 
thoughts are occurring in my brain. That works better. Less belts, less problems. Just weighted ejector shooting, shooting him in. That works, that works, that works. Yes, 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 yes. Whoop, I'm in it. And now what we could do is this drawer that contains the regular saplings can have just an output to here. Like that. Yeah. And we take a shaft into the weighted ejector like so. So automatically these will spit out onto the weighted ejector that will spit it out here. Beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. Now the trick, of course, powering these gentlemen. Uh, not too easy, not too easy. Obviously, we're going to want happy chain drives. Oh, I know where the happy chain drives get their power. Oh, and there's a shaft right there. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. That's just lovely. And as far as the washing process goes, we could place a fan right here. Uh, I heard you could waterlog a... Yeah, look at that. You could waterlog belts to compact it even further. So we even have leeway in case this is spinning in the bad direction. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Uh, obviously, I don't want to go and make the... <laughs> I don't want to go and make that just yet because it requires a lot of andesite alloy. We need to make a few different machines. I kind of want to get this thing working first uh, so that we could pull out all the mineral goodies. And speaking of this thing, it is very much high time that we get a tree farm set up. And to make tree farms, we need brass. And turns out in this pack, we learned in the last episode that blaze burners are super easy to get. You don't even have to go to the nether for a blaze burner. You just need to have some of those dandy little runic tablets. Uh, let's see, these guys. You can craft them with empty blaze burners to turn those into full blaze burners. I just have to find, there we go. That's where the netherrack is. We just got to smash some iron ingots into iron sheets and we're off the races. Nice and simple, get ourselves the empty blaze burner, fill it with a runic tablet. Look at that. Look at that. That's so, that's so cool. I really like that. Now we just need some zinc ingots, uh, wherever my zinc is. I mean, they're not in ingot form. And some copper ingots, and I'm just gonna cook them normal. Whoa, look how glowy he is. That's amazing. All right, I'm going to feed this guy a lava bucket and toss in the copper and the zinc. And look at that. Look at that. Brass on episode four, I think it is. Or what, I, what episode is this? I have no idea. I think it's four. But this is beautiful. Yeah. I believe brass hands require four brass sheets. So there we go. No problems. All righty. Brass hand is made. Sorry, I don't have footage of it. I coughed really loudly directly into the microphone while recording it. So unfortunately, that audio is gone. But now, uh, now I need to make a bunch of machines. So I need a bunch of, I need a bunch of anti alloy. Now, one thing we might be able to do is make this squeezery do, and I'm pretty sure with the squeezery do we might be able to manually squeeze out some more mineral resin also why is there a spider spidering somewhere around here it's driving me crazy and i don't know where it's coming from but i'd like it to stop okay so we'll take the squeezery do uh squeezing like a boss of course uh and potentially turn some of these logs into a bunch of andesite alloy let's see if i take out like a log i put it inside and i stamp on top of it yeah that's right we have to jump it takes a while oh wow that's a little bit of time spent aha mineral mineral resin mineral resin got it you need you need a drying basin okay okay drying like a boss awesome so i think I think if I place this here, it fills up with the mineral resin. And then it and then it dries. Although, boy, that is that is glowy. There we go. And then I turn it into nine re Okay, so one log is nine resin. Oh, and I think we need a lever here or a button. Boop. Okay, cool. So it's slow and manual, but it does produce nine at a time. So I mean we'll be able to get a decent amount of machines out of this. Totally. 
Oh, and you know what? You can get into kind of a rhythm with it, right? You're stamping this guy down. Yeah, get that. Up. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. You. Button. You. There. Oh, there we go. Now I'm grooving. Now I'm jamming. Yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. And if you're thinking, why not hold multiple? Yeah, me too. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that too. I'm sorry to keep cutting to this, but this is like, this is trance-like. This is the most relaxing thing I've done all day. If you're playing Arcane Engineering, just don't even play the pack. Just do this. Just do this. Just do this all day. This is amazing. Okay, 14 blocks of mineral stuff. That's, that's gotta be a lot, right? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Okay. So we're cruising. Wow, you're still... Wow, look at all my time. All right, well, we're gonna be mixing this stuff up. Because that, that's, what, four, that's four stacks already. We'll probably pull out with eight stacks, because I have two of each. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. While that's going, I'm going to find out where the spider is hiding. Uh, not in here. Somewhere over here. Bat? What? Get out of here, spider. <gasps> Do not hit me down there. No, 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 no. What is hitting me? It was the spider. Oh my gosh. Alright. Mystery solved, gang. Okay, now that feels like a pretty acceptable amount of andesite alloy. It's not a ton, right? Like, this is... What is that? Actually, no. A stack of andesite alloy is one machine. So we have a few machines represented here. We have a few machines represented here. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. And something I've been feeling bad about and sort of lamenting to myself is I, I find myself in a lack of logs for crafting. And then, of course, I looked to my left and realized we have a bountiful fortune of logs. These trees are huge, and I could chop them down instantaneously with a saw. It shouldn't even be a problem. I just have to check that they can be stripped. As long as these logs can be stripped, then they're definitely allowed to be used. And of course they could be stripped. I mean, seriously. Like, wow, you even get... This is an immersive weathering. Whoa, immersive weathering has biomes of plenty integration? That, okay, immersive weathering keeps impressing me. It's so weird because, the, you know, it's Create is supposed to be my favorite mod. I love Create more than anything. But I am falling deeply in love with immersive weathering. And now to do the Q&A of the day that I definitely did not forget to do while recording the video and am not adding in post. Coming from the Discord, asked by Infinite Loop, have I ever scrapped the video? Yes, I have. Uh, I did a speedrun uh, trying to beat some some allegations TikTok made about Steam Engines not being early game. So I was speedrunning a Steam Engine and I, I got the run but hit the wrong button on my keyboard and removed the timer and got so mad that I scrapped the video. Okay, okay, I think we've got it. I think we've got it, ladies and gentlemen. Do we got him? Come on now. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was so cool. Look how far the logs go. Oh my gosh, it fell all the way. Did it fall all the way to my house? Hold on, I just have to check this. No, it fell just outside my house. That's incredible. All right, well, that's a crafting issue solved. Look at look at all that redwood. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I love the mechanical saw. Top tier, top tier decision from the create devs. Now, I am still manually stripping the logs for now. Um, haven't, you know, made the deployer, but that should definitely be... We gotta get a, we gotta get a workshop set up. One, one thing I did bad in uh above and beyond was i whoops i really waited a long time to get a workshop set up that was foolish of me but then again i am kind of falling into the same trap because i, I don't want to do any like big builds or, or problem solvings or factories or whatever until we have a large amount of kinetic machines just just because i feel like better to build the kinetic machine machine temporarily really badly and then get my hands on some stuff that makes it smaller because then we just have access to everything right like everything base create of course there's going to be so much more that we could do and automate and make smaller this is not a small pack but i just i think if chapter one if i afk it for for a little while get myself a few thousand kinetic mechanisms will be pretty 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 oh a stack makes 16. I'm a little silly guy. <laughs> I'm a little funny goober. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't you know it.
I really, I really used to be very good at math. I don't know what happened to me. I, I genuinely don't know what happened to me. I used to be so good at math. Well, it's a good thing I made two, because we are going to need an additional fan as well. So one of these guys become fan, Detroit become deployer. Look at that. See, we're already pushing ahead. They even give us another brass hand. I don't know why. We have, we have a lot of brass, but it's a nice, it's a nice thing to have. Hey, shut the door okay got the area dug out this this should be good this should be the situation that we want to be in uh oh let me break you i like to leave this area open and replace with different blocks since i don't like to use it but yeah this is our little tree farm well it will be our little tree farm once we get a water wheel inside of there also my frames are already getting like really low with the shaders on i i might have to turn them off which is unfortunate uh the pack has a lot of optimization plugins and stuff built into it but unfortunately it's just it's got a lot of beef to it it's got a lot of beef to it and like i don't have a small computer i'm i'm running a, a happy little 3090 here and we're chugging away at, at these frames, so <laughs> it, might, it might just be a little too juicy for my machine. Okay, but as you can see, we're not actually done with this machine because I forgot, you know, one of the most crucial elements, which is a chest, which is any kind of inventory. But that, of course, can be remedied by putting a chest on top of this. Revolutionary technology, don't you think? So I can put the mineral saplings in here, very nice. And then I will have this shrubby dub. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect, nope, nope, that's not the right one. I'm gonna have this shrub washed so that it turns into the rejuvenated one so we can lock this drawer and get things going. Now I have to make a ton of strip logs, so I'm just gonna briefly switch power to this guy and make some more deploy or make a deployer and then you do the thing with the dip i am so oh i already had a brass hand Blah. i am so i'm so out of my mind today now if my shockingly good explanation of what i'm doing here you know wasn't enough for you i'm just using this to automatically strip this wood here huh oh you gotta use a saw ah okay that's that's a lot more annoying well, I mean, we'll need this anyway, so I guess that works. Uh, suppose I'll borrow a saw. There we go. That, that'll, that's a lot faster than me doing it by hand. Okay, and now that we've slapped a ton of these belts and funnels and whatnot all over the place, that, that should mean this is ready. That should mean that this works. Probably. Potentially. Hmm? I don't know. Also, uh, this should only throw 16 at a time. Yes. Whoop. Or, well, no, it should not throw only 16 at a time. It should throw 8. It should throw 8 at a time, because that's how much you need. I think this is good to go. Ugh. You guys. You little freaks turn into lava okay oh i haven't powered this guy have i hmm that's unfortunate that's unfortunate i think that means we're gonna overstress but assuming we won't we pull the belt out Ooh, there we go reloaded resource packs what ponder tags event okay whatever that's not for me that's for that's for people who know what's going on. The Jojo is not someone who knows what's going on. Observe as I overstress my machine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do I have a stress ometer on me? How, mu how much more stress do we need? Because I've got two windmill bearings. So I've got about a thousand more stress for you if you need it. All right, buddy. How much more stress do you need? About a thousand. Perfect. That works very well. That works very well. So I'll just use you and hit you with this. Uh-huh. Get you spinning. You. Nope. You. This. Spin. There we go. Cool. Lovely even. Awesome. And now we're creating mineral saplings. That's great, actually. So that, that actually means a great deal of this chapter is completed. We even get some additional saplings in an engineer's toolkit. These rewards I haven't picked up yet because they're kind of junk right now. I'm not going to lie. But we're almost done. We're almost done. We just have to make sure that this machine actually functions. One of the big ones is this machine has to actually, you know, work. And yeah. That's that's frightening. 
uh, you know what? Something's occurred to me. Is this not just going to create an infinite loop? Where it will spit out the remaining saplings, suck up those saplings, put the saplings back inside of itself? Is that not something that's going to happen? I think, I think it will. I think it will create an infinite loop. Hmm. Well, we have brass funnels. All right, all right, all right. We have some brass. We have some brass funnels. I don't want to use them too much, but I just built this whole machine, and we've got some filters. So we're just gonna we're just gonna use we're gonna use a deny list. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be a little naughty. Okay, uh, we can just take mineral sapling, drag it in here. Deny. Beautiful. What is that sound? What is that sound? I have music turned off. I have music turned off. Oh, I'm freaked out. I don't like that. I'm running away from that. I'm creeped out by that. I'm creeped out big time by that. Alrighty, and this guy works like so. Uh, oh, I should put this basin down as well. And dang it, I have to power this thing too. We're gonna go over... We're gonna overstress again. Shoot. Shoot. One thing I know that you need to do is make sure these guys have a lot of light levels. So I will put a lot of light levels nearby them. Hopefully this doesn't hurt their spawning. I don't think it will. Just want to make sure that they've got enough juice. Man, this is cursed looking. This looks this looks like it's broken. It's not. It's just it's just how it is. So, uh, hmm. It's just occurred to me how much waiting is going to be involved with this farm. Like, just waiting to see if it works or not. I guess in the meantime, we can deal with the super fun that we're gonna have getting this guy to work. Alright, how stressed are we, huh? How stressed are we? Ooh, two more windmills stressed. I don't know, I don't know why I said that like that. It was a lot. I really, I really kind of said that, like, oh no, two windmills. How are we ever going to afford that? Yeah, that was, that was a little silly of me. See, I don't know what is me being impatient, because I'm impatient, or what is just regular Minecraft tree growth timer. I suppose I can try some bone meal. We can try some bone meal if we have some bone meal. I don't know if we have bone meal. I think we have bone at the right. Yeah, we have bone. Wow, 8 to 31. That's actually pretty good. That is actually a pretty good return. Okay, so we can see, will it grow? It will grow. It will grow. Will it chop? Will it chop? It chop! Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Huh? Berries. Good. Did that not make additional sap? Did that not produce any additional sapling? Huh? Oh dear. Wow. Only one sapling. Whoa. Okay, there we go. There's the rejuvenated ones. So let's just let's just keep an eye on these guys. Okay. Okay. I think I got it though. I think I got it though. So now the only trick now the only trick is uh I guess this is just sticks. I guess I overreacted with this specific drawer. Okay, I'm gonna go make a one by one drawer. That's just for catching sticks. No problem. So you are the Stick drawer. Yes. Yes, very good. Stick drawer. Good, good, good. So that's everything. Now the only thing that can reach the end is the resin. Right? Uh-huh. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And now we have automatic andesite alloy. Hooray! I keep saying hooray. I need to stop saying hooray. It makes me sound stupid. Um, <laughs> I'm just excited. i uh, give you a little check mark because I did you too. Beautiful. Look at all that. Ah, I love it. So now we need three sides going out this way, right? Because the final thing to the kinetic mechanism, if we take a look at it, is a mineral slab and then run it through an assembly line. The mineral slab we can get by sawing mineral planks. The mineral planks we can get by sawing a strip mineral log. The men strip mineral log we saw a regular mineral log. So the point is we need three saws. Saw it all together. Look at all the sawing you can do. Look at all this. Are these not the same? We only have two saw blades. All right, how do you make a saw blade? We have not made one of these yet. Oh, it's just copper and iron. Okay, that's not too bad. I love this little windmill spam I've got going along. 
just kind of like, uh-oh, we're running out of power. Let's just throw a windmill on it. Let's just, just throw a windmill on it. What's the worst that could happen, right? Look at all these stress units we've got going on. Look at all these stress units. Okay, there we go. This is the saw line. And these need to spin in this direction. That's the way that they work. What are you? Overstressed? Oh, I think I may have... Do I, do I have something set up over here? No. Wow, how much are we overstressed by? That's a lot. How much do these take? Oh, jeez. A thousand each? Oof. That's like three windmills. Uh-oh. No! Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. All right. All right. All right. Okay, we're still good. Uh, uh, so much lava everywhere. Still good, though. Still good, though. And these guys are spinning in the right direction. What a time to be alive. Uh, well, if I if I had any of these, I'd be able to put one there. Although, uh, we could use a hopper. Yes, yes, a hopper. In fact, a hopper would be even better. A hopper would be even better. I am not going to do that just yet because it would just go nowhere and cause a big mess. And we have to figure out how we are going to split this around. Oh, shoot. Ah, I, ah we're back to this. Oh, we're back to this loveliness. I love working with the saws because I try to stand on them all the time. All the time I try to stand on them. Oh, now I gotta put all my stuff back on. Dang it. Hopefully, this is one of the last times I have to do this. It should be. It, it should be. I actually think this is the first time that I have to do this. Yeah, we haven't actually made any casings because of our casing luck. But you do make them the normal way. Yeah, we've never done that. We've never done that in this entire... All this... We haven't made a single casing. We found so many of them while exploring. That's incredible. Here's to hoping this theory works. Because I have no idea if it will. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's terrible. Really? It'll spit out anything inside of it, even with the recipe filter? I thought for sure with the recipe filter that wouldn't happen. Really? All right, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna use our next naughty little brass here little little bit of brass here Just a little bit just a little bit of brass here to make this situation much more Possible we are going to have it pull only the andesite alloy out of itself So it can only pull out andesite alloy and when I flick it this way I'll set it that it can only pull exactly one so it will essentially function as a brass version of itself. Did I say brass? I'm an andesite version of itself. Speaking of andesite, you go there. Really? Actually? Wow, that's nutty. I guess two, two brass it is. I didn't want to have to use two brass for this, but we have it. We do have it. So both of those set that equal to one. Make sure it can only pull one at a time. Yeah, I think that's all we can do. So if I throw this in here, okay. If I throw in here, it will split it. So at the very least, we know the splitting works. At the very least, we know the splitting works. But hey, now it goes right on into these fellas. And this guy's already full up. And overstressed? Yep. <laughs> all right, by how much? How many more windmills? Tell me, windmill calculator. Tell me how many more we need. Ooh, ooh. Now I did it again. No. I really, really need to stop doing that. Oh, I think I lost a belt. I think I lost a belt. Okay. Actually, hold on. I think, I think we did it. We done it. It's done. It do. I just, um, this belt. Okay. Okay. This belt should be one back like so, so that the saws can output right on top of it, which they should be able to. Beautiful. Okay. All we have to do now is get this drawer set up at the end of it. This is going to hold our kinetic mechanisms. Uh, I think I've got, yeah, I've got plenty of these guys laying around and sog. 
Ugh, excuse me, saw goes in there. So to finish chapter one, all I should need to do is take this hopper and connect it to the saws and this drawer like that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, ah! Whoa, ho! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, that is so fast! <gasps> Yay! I am so stoked about that. I'm so stoked about that. This is amazing. Okay, I should grab the... No, I should grab that. And I should grab a uh, that. There we go. Whoop. Oop. This guy ran out of... Uh, okay, it, it all ran out of andesite alloy. Just checking. Let's just make sure this thing has enough. It, it's just out of the resin, right? Cool. Just it, being out of the resin is fine. Oh, that is an annoying sound. But that's all we got for now. Oh my gosh. So that should have just completed all the way down the line. Brrr. Do I, oh, I didn't pick up a slab. Well, that should be the easiest since the slabs are the ones that kind of hang out. <gasps> Boop. Like so. Beautiful. And that's chapter one. We did it! Ooh, it even gives us a bunch of kinetic mechanisms. <gasps> hooray! Hooray! I love it! Is that the whole... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that the whole chapter one? No, technically I haven't done this. And I have not looked at a blaze either. But, chapter one is done. Which means if we go to progression, we should now be able to accept chapter two once we make a machine once we make ourselves a machine which is going to be super easy to do considering they gave us a bunch of kinetic mechanisms boop boop task complete and boom huh or do i have access <gasps> yeah Ooh, chapter two chapter two's on the horizon why does that be a skulk I just want to use this time to say thank you so much to the members of this channel. They are helping this channel and me become closer and closer to becoming a full-time content creator. So if that's something you'd be interested in, subscribe and become a member.